Let's get started. Step 1. Logging in and navigating Keycloak. Once Keycloak is set up and running on port 8080, we can log in as the admin user. Simply click on Admin and enter the password Change Me. Great, we are now in the Keycloak admin interface where we'll perform the integration process. Step 2. Creating new user groups. To begin, we'll create a new group to facilitate our use case. In this example, we'll focus on the employee onboarding process. I'm creating a new user group called HR to represent the Human Resources Department. Excellent. Now, let's create another group for our use case. Next, we'll create a group called Applicant to represent the applicants in our system. Perfect. We've created two essential groups for our integration. Step 3. Creating new users and assigning group roles. Now, we'll create new users and assign them to the appropriate groups. For example, let's create a user named Peter. Peter is a forms designer, so we'll assign him to the designer group. Next, let's create another user named John Smith. John is part of the HR team, so we'll assign him to the HR group. Lastly, we'll create an applicant user named John Doe and assign them to the applicant group. Fantastic! We've successfully created users and assigned them to the respective groups. That wraps up our integration process. Users and groups are now set up in Keycloak. Thank you for watching. You're now ready to harness the power of Keycloak for seamless user management and access control. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask. Have a great day.